So hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna give you all the information you want for base as certification. So the very first thing is, what is base as certification? So guys, this is a certification which is globally valid. Okay, you go in any country and this certification will be valid. If you want to know the entire process for this certification, how to apply for this exam online or offline, I have created a separate video. You can check the link in the video description as well, and you can get the link in the iCards as well. And the video title is complete roadmap for BASA certification. Now let's move to the second point. What are the benefits of BASA certification? So the very first benefit is it is globally valued. Second benefit is it increase your chances of getting interview. The third benefit is preferred by companies all the top companies. Now let's move to the third point. Is BASE as certification is mandatory for freshers? So guys, it is not mandatory, but it is preferred by the top companies. Not even top companies. Now I'm seeing a trend. Every second companies are asking for BASE as certification. So it is something good to have. If you are having this certification, your chances are high. Now let's move to the fourth point. Is there any alternative of BASE as certification? So guys, there are free certifications are also available by SAS itself. Okay, even you will get a certification from your training institute if you are taking training from your training institute. On top of that, even I have created a video on this free certification by SAS. So you can go and check that video so that you can get free certification. So guys, one more thing. See, this free certification by SAS and the certification you are getting from your training institute. This will be not equally valuable to the base SAS global certification, but still it will create some additional benefits for you. So for free certification, you can again check the links in the video description even in the iCards as well. Now let's move to the next point. Do people with the BASE certification gonna be preferred over the non-BASE certified people or the candidates? So yes guys, people with the BASE certification gonna be preferred. The chances are high they gonna get interviews first compared to people with not having BASE certification. Now let's move to the sixth point. Is BASE certification is enough to get interviews? So no guys, BASE certification is not enough that it can avail interview easily. So you should know how to apply for jobs. You should know about the hiring cycle. You should know how to properly reach out to people. On top of that, you should be consistent in your process, whichever you are doing, like either you are learning, either you are applying for a job and you should also have some guidance. If you get stuck somewhere, you should make sure that someone is there who can guide you. If you're not having someone, you can reach out to people on LinkedIn. And again, you can say that people are not responding. Not everyone gonna respond to you, but if you're reaching out to 100 people out of 100, might be 10 people will be responding you and believe me those 10 responses will be enough for you now let's move to the seventh point that is what is my suggestion for basis certification so guys if you can afford it go for basis certification it worth if you feel if you don't have enough money you can spend in the training but initially you cannot spend in the certification then it's totally your choice just take the training first okay and apply for a job and if you feel that i'm not getting that much interviews then you can go for this certification okay because a lot of people People in the past they got this job without base certification as well in the present as well but again the ratio is less compared to certified people let's suppose if 100 people are there out of 100 60 to 70 percent of people gonna get interview who are certified and remaining will be non-certified okay so this is a ratio it's not like key without certification you cannot get interview but the ratio is less okay and you need to be more precise and, and you need to put little more effort now let's move to the eighth point boosting your journey how you can boost your journey for that guys we have created broadcast with our old students as you know i'm a clinical SAS trainer i have trained to many students so i have created broadcast with some of our student where i have asked many questions to them like how was your interview journey how much time it took and many other questions so those questions can help you a lot to get your answers so go and watch those broadcast even i'll give the link in the video description even in the i cards on top of that I have created interview pattern series and you can find a playlist okay so in that i have kept a lot of videos and those are the interview pattern of different companies so you can get an idea which companies are having which pattern or what are the common pattern followed by this clinical research company for interview on top of that we have created a lot of playlists like interview series and many other videos related to SAS, which can literally help you and guys you can do one more thing you can check our linkedin page that is clinical study academy where we post questions as well on top of that the students who got selected recently we post their details as well so you can get in clarity which companies are hiring on which roles and all those things on top of that, you can also join our Telegram group. You can check our websites as well. And at the end, if you have any more questions, 
you want one to one counseling with me for that also you can find one to one counseling link in this video description that's all for today guys let's meet in the next video thank you everyone and bye bye everyone